destroying. My football contract is on the line. Episode four. What is destroying talking about? We locked in, we locked in. Kicking is a very mental game. 60% of your kick comes from here. What's the odds of that? I told you it's comical at this point. I will say I, I had a L versus the mental battle that day. Oh my God, I'm trying to work on just my mental strength. So I challenged myself to go on this hike. What are the odds, bro? I look at my phone and I get the best text message I could have ever freaking received, bro. This is Mark Lilly Bruce, <laughs> the GM of the San Antonio Brahmins. You will be getting an email either tonight or tomorrow um, with your letter of intent. To That's crazy. My boy got Hi. kicked up. That's so live, bro. Not everybody get that opportunity. Just saying. So y'all saw in episode three, I got signed. Amazing news, but it ain't that easy. Your boy still has to really show these people I could kick. I have a private workout set up with the GM of the Brahmas, Mr. Mark Lillybridge. So basically I got signed, but if I come out here and I shit the bed, <laughs> they gonna take that sign right back. So I got some buddies together, met them boys at a high school out here in Arizona. My boy Simon and some long snappers just coming out to get some work. Damn. Look at all the moisture, all the wetness on the ball. The ball starts to get heavy. It gets slippery for the snapper, slippery for the holder. We don't like this. But we got to deal with it no matter what. Oh, no. Ah! You good? What happened on that one? It was, I like, had it rotated and then, like, this, like, as I was pinching, it just, like, started, like... Yeah. I got to finish that, bro. Let's go, uh, let's go same spot. Like yeah. I feel like I didn't have the best contact with it either, though. Wow. Sir. He got a leg on him. You ever wear gloves? He got a leg on him. You can't even lie. I, feel you. I know Cat liked to rock the glove. Yeah. I like the aesthetic yeah. I did in college, but. Right, let's get right. That's the one. Money license B. That's the one. Simon, that's my guy. He's who's going to be holding for me at this private workout. So I'm just trying to get a good rhythm, a good flow, a good operation with him and kind of just rep a couple times before I actually have to go rep with me being signed on the line. Let's uh, walk with like one of these or something. So you know where the spot's at. Money. Let's try one. Hey, what would y'all do if that contract was on the line, man? About kicking. You got to go gotta crazy, move, bro. You got to know you're going to make that kick. So right here, my <clears throat> mentality is really locked in. It's really honed in. It's really zoned in. And I'm just making every kick, making them, banging them, banging them. And I'm feeling myself. Just because I'm fat, I'm supposed to be the bigger person, huh? You think the hardest shit I draw was make me nervous, huh? You want some Louis shoes to go with all your purses, huh? You in the Yammy, want me pay for your new surgery, huh? You say you single, why your phone on I know the secret now. Anytime I hit and just follow my line, that bitch is going. 62? We were here. Uh, let's go 62. You're one up. Good clean hit. Good shit, boy. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's that's good. <laughs> I'm bad for a wet day, man. Hey, that was some distance right there. I like that. No, I like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. We ain't trying to do too much today. We're getting ready for Saturday, hitting the ball pretty smooth. We money, bro. We money, bro. See you Saturday. That was good. Not a bad way to finish. There's one thing to make the kicks, and now that I'm a professional, you can see I'm a professional. I got signed to a UFL team. I gotta start taking care of myself like a professional. We're doing all the right recoveries. We're doing all the things I need to make sure my legs are under me so that there's no aches, no tweaks, no nothing when it comes time to really make these kicks. I feel like it's hard to feel 100% while playing a sport. You always got something. Never 100%, something bro. That's thrown off. Something that's when I was playing, that you were never 100%. I'm about to carry your body, man. I'm grateful. I got PEP, everybody that being here working and helping me get right. Because before, shit, I just go kick. If someone's hurting, I just go to the crib. Now I know what the hell's going on. Sometimes I don't even got to tell this man where it hurts. He could 
Bro, my back used to be so sore. Paws playing football, bro. Like, I don't know what it was, bro. But any football can t- anybody anybody that play football or that's playing football will tell you, bro. Practice will have your back hurting. Weights will have your back hurting. All of it, dude. All of it. Like real talk. You better stretch. You better get some rehab. <laughs> Cause if you don't. You're cooked. Finish. Bro. Um, bro. You just know. I be wondering how the hell he knows where it hurts. He just moves me a certain way. He's like, does this hurt? I'm like, yeah, how'd you know? My neck is a little sore. I know Zoner's probably rolling over in his little back shed right now. Because I was kicking earlier, crunching. He's starting to make my neck a little sore. Can't finish. Ooh. <laughs> But it's like, it's tough, bro. You gotta find a happy medium because I've been doing this for what? 13 years in my career. I've been kicking the same way. So I try to change completely what I do within months of me having to execute what I do. It's like relearning how to ride a bike when you got a bike race in three weeks. You feel me? It's not the right time to relearn. I mean, I'm hitting the ball well. I feel confident. I feel good in my abilities. I don't know, maybe I gotta warm my back and my neck up some so I don't get sore after. Can't finish. Love that guy. Just filling up the hot tub. Big recovery day for D. Right now it's at 121, so that's pretty hot. We'll usually have it around 112 to 115. D can definitely handle that, and it will add a good amount of stimulation for the body to recover pretty well. Ah, shit. It's hot. My leg is so sore right now. Hey, one thing I hated in college is ice baths, bro. Like, oh my God, bro. You got to be mentally strong to stay in the ice bath. If you ain't mentally strong to stay in the ice bath for like 10 minutes, bro, your mental messed up. For real. You you cannot handle adversity, for real. If you can't stay in the ice bath for 10 minutes, bro, it really tests you, bro. Right after practice, it's hot, and then you jumping in some cold water with ice in it? I'm talking about like four buckets. Four buckets, bro. Like, it, it be so cold. It be so cold, chat. Ice, ice baths are not for the weak. Only for the strong. Oh, bro. Saturday's the day. I don't know, it's a high pressure moment. I feel like my best kicking and my best performances usually come when there's something on the line, when it's something at risk. You know, I feel like a lot of my life lately, nothing been really on the line. Been comfortable with YouTube. It's exciting to work towards something. It's exciting to be in such a high stakes, high pressure moment. Just gotta lock in, man. I'm prepared. They say success is when opportunity meets preparation. And I've been preparing. I'm getting opportunity. So we on the left side of the equation right now. We just putting the equal sign and success on the right side. So the series moving fast now, ain't it? Episode four and we already, you feel me? <laughs> we already cooking. Yeah. And I appreciate all y'all's support. I know a lot of you guys are saying, you know, this whole journey's been super motivating that you guys all have your own thingy going through and it may not be chasing playing in the league, but watching me grind and watching me go through my ups and my downs has helped y'all. And I just want to say that I appreciate you guys, man. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, I'm living proof. You believe in it, you work towards it, you're going to achieve it. So keep working. Destroy every time. Going your way. Every, every time, it. chat. You just got to chase it. You got to chase it and believe in yourself when nobody believes in you. Child, I'm starting to sweat. No matter what. Flying to. Reality is really starting to sink in. There's a lot at stake now. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous. I'm usually a very confident, non nervous guy, but they say if you're not nervous, you don't care, and I care about this a lot. Nothing in the football business is guaranteed. Everything's up for grabs. If I don't do what I have to, if I don't lock in, if this GM doesn't leave this workout and feels like I deserve a spot on that team, then there's going to be no spot on that team for me. And we're back to square one. So, it's time, y'all boys. Gotta stand on business. Standing on business. What's going on, gentlemen? How are you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Pleasure to right? meet you, man. You bet, man. Doing My good, pleasure, man. doing good, man. I appreciate the opportunity again. As a kicker, the first thing you notice whenever you arrive at a field is the wind. What's the temperature like? What's the wind like? What is adversity that we're gonna be facing that day look like? You know, I'm gonna be a pro one day. Hopefully, God willing, I play in the NFL. 
I might play in Buffalo, it might be super windy. I might play in Seattle, it might be rainy. We don't get to control the conditions. The only thing we could control is what we could control. So make sure I go through all my preparation, my routine, and just get the job done. Hey, y'all make y'all predictions right now what y'all think gonna happen. Because I already know what's gonna happen. That boy finna keep his signed contract, man. Yeah, we're right, kicking this direction if it's cool. Yeah, I got some shaggers coming, so it'll be in the camera. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Novak, man. Cool ass dude. Played for the Chargers a long time ago. Played for a few teams. Now he's doing his thing in the coaching space. What's gonna happen is there's 10 to 11 different spots that I'm gonna be graded on. Starting with an NFL extra point, 33 yards. We move back, maybe 37 left, 42 right, and so forth. Just moving around, moving backwards, and seeing what the accuracy and consistency is looking like. If it's a good kick, they put it on chart, good. If it's a bad kick, they let you know, no good. And then once you go through all those 10 to 11 kicks, then it's time to do kickoffs. In this UFL league, the kickoff rules are a little different. You kick off from the 20 yard line. The GM wants to make sure the leg is certified and can get the ball to the end zone. After that, if the GM feels like I perform well enough, then, you know, it's up to him what he wants to do. All right, hey, the first kick in 30 left. Middle. 36 right. Let's go, destroy. Let's go, bro. Lock in. 39 left. Oh yeah, he cooking, bro. Yeah. yeah keep doing it. Tuck in there. That wind's going me a little bit. 52 left. Good. Best kick so far, and I got one. 54 right. Ah, I'll take that. That's me. Honestly, do y'all think kicker, a kicker in the NFL or pro leagues or whatever it is, high school, middle school, whatever you play, do you think kicker is the hardest, one of the hardest positions too? Just because you got a lot of pressure on you every time you kick? Everybody's focused on you for you to make this field goal? If you don't make this field goal, you're going to hear it from the team, the fans, and everybody that you don't want to hear it from. Man, what the f I told myself I wanted to be perfect during this whole workout. I wanted to pass with flying colors. I'm angry because I know that's a kick I make, I guess in this case, nine out of 10 times because I missed that one. And in the back of my head, I just know what I did wrong. You don't ever get a second try at any kicks, um, especially in game or anything like that. But just for myself, I was like, coach, just please let me take this kick again. Mark it as a miss on the chart, but I just want this for myself. And I want to show you that I can bounce back and I'm not going to get in my head and I'm going to make the next kick. So I line that thing up. First kickoff went 76 yards. 76? Hang time. I know y'all may not know a lot about kicking numbers, but that's a ball right there. Boom, another one, 75 yards. Oh, he got a leg, bro. Amazing with these kickoffs. 
although I did well, not as well as I'd want to, but still very well during this workout, I'm just trying to see how the GM is feeling. I wasn't able to really read him too much. I was just kicking the ball, doing the things I came out here to do. And at this point, kickoffs are done, and I'm just waiting to see what this man's decision is, because we got a lot riding on this. So obviously I could do better, but it comes with practice, comes with reps, comes oh, man, to work. We'll get you. We're gonna, you know, we're sign you, send you a contract, and we'll get this locked and loaded. And uh, let's go, man. You know what I'm saying? Thought you did everything you needed to do today. Appreciate you. I'm freaking ecstatic. I'm over the moon. I just needed that confirmation because I know I have what it takes. And just hearing him say it's official, man, I can't even describe the feeling to y'all, bro. I'm, I'm just so happy at this point. But it's not over yet. Like I said, this business is cutthroat. If you can't perform, you will not have your spot. You won't be on no team. Camp on February 24th. It's a straight business, chat. So veteran, Matt Amendola. He's experienced. He's been in the place I want to be at. And now we're going head to head. At the end of the day, it don't matter who's in front of me. When I report to training camp, the real story begins. Y'all about to witness Donald Delahaye, kicker for the San Antonio Brahmas, make history. Lock in, destroy! Lock in! We ready for episode four, boy! We, we ready!